Mike Radich here, and I'm now joined on the phone by VFC welterweight Maki Patolo. Maki, how are you? I'm doing good, and you guys? Doing good, doing good. Thanks for asking. Maki, your nickname is Coconut Bombs. Who started calling you that? Um, you know, I just wanted one of those cool Instagram names, so I kind of just made it up, and then uh, it just stuck with me ever since. Oh, <laughs> I see, I see. I was just curious about that. Now, this Friday at VFC 54, you're going to be fighting in a rematch of a fight that took place earlier this year, back in July. Just curious, because there was no controversy in the fight. You won the fight fair and square. Why is there a need to have a rematch? Um, you know, I was actually supposed to fight Dakota Cochran for the 170 title, but uh, some things didn't fall through, so uh, it ended up being that he was the, the next spot open for the, the title shot again, so... No, I mean, I'm, I'm willing to fight whoever I have to fight to get that title and move on with my career. And uh, I can't wait to show everybody that it's it's my time. When they offered you this fight, were you surprised? Were you disappointed? Because you just beat this guy not too long ago. How would you describe how yeah. you were feeling when you got the offer? Uh, it, it, honestly, it didn't really matter to me. It, it's just another guy in there. Regardless, we fought again. It's, it's never the same fight. I'm going into this fight mentally prepared. And uh, physically prepared. Uh, we we have gone five five minute rounds, so uh, I've ha- I have the experience with him this Saturday. I know how he feels. I know I know how he moves, how he reacts to things. So uh, most definitely going in there with that knowledge and uh, adding on to it over these past couple months is just uh, even more beautiful. You know, I get to go in there and, and make it look easy and uh, just uh, put put all my hard work and dedication on the line. When it comes to immediate rematches. People say that the guy who lost the fight always has the advantage in the rematch because he knows what he has to do to get a different result. He ha- he made more mistakes than you did in the last fight, and now he's going to go back and try to correct them. So he has a little bit more of an advantage. You have the psychological advantage because he knows that you can beat him and you know that you can beat him. So you have a psychotic- psychological v- advantage, but he uh, has a little bit more to correct because he lost the last fight. Now, when you went back and watched that first fight, did you see glaring mistakes that you made in that fight? You know what, we, we, uh, it was a short notice fight. I got the fight three days notice before uh, before the fight that was actually supposed to happen with Jason Jackson. Mm-hmm. So to uh, go up and fight in three days notice, I feel like we both couldn't prepare for each other. You know, he had something to prepare for, I had something to prepare for. And uh, I'm looking to go in there and just show him what, what a full camp can do. Not just three days notice. That was three days notice right there. This mm-hmm. is coming on. I got, I got time, I had time to prepare for him, and I'm sure he has had time to prepare for me. So it's going to be a good fight, man. You guys got to tune in, December 9th, VFC. It's going to be awesome. You're fighting Cassius Kane. What are your thoughts about him as an opponent? Uh, he's a good opponent. You know, I respect all my opponents, and uh, I can't wait to just go in there and, and do it. Obviously, you guys fought in July, so there isn't, or there hasn't been that much time for... I mean, yeah, he's probably made some corrections. He's probably improved, but, you know, it, it it probably won't be a drastic improvement from what you saw in July. So what do you think his game plan will be going into the fight? What do you think his camp is telling him to do against you in this one? Um, Probably protect that double leg. That's about it. Um, Yeah, that, that's all I can take away from the fight the last time we got, the, we got together. You came to victory because they got that deal with UFC Fight Pass, and you're looking at this opportunity like this can be your way to get yourself into the UFC. You can use this promotion as a springboard to getting into the UFC. The organizations that you were fighting for in the past, X1, Destiny MMA, great regional shows in Hawaii, but they don't have that kind of uh, exposure that is needed to make that jump into the UFC. So since you've got into victory, you've looked fantastic. And, you know, so many people are getting caught up in, you know, if you win this fight, you might get that call to the UFC that people are forgetting that this is a five-round title fight. So does the belt mean anything to you? Yeah, the belt always means something to me. It's uh, it's the fight first, though, that matters. Uh, my For me, it's, it's the biggest thing in my book is uh, get the fight over with first and whatever comes after, it comes after. But... I'm looking to uh, go into this fight and finish all five fives. If I, if need be, on that, just all the eyes on the fight, on the fight world, on BFC, being with uh, UFC, it's just that much more to go out there and get the job done. But my mindset is always 
to be going in there nice, calm, cool, and collective, and uh, to never let the the moment get get me. Just live in the moment, be in the moment. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, it's always the fight first, control the fight, win the battle, and then the the accomplishments and accolades can come after. If you win this fight, you'll not only be the VFC welterweight champion, but you'll also extend your win streak to eight fights in a row. I know you said that that you're not focusing on the future too much, you're just kind of living in the moment, but if you get the win on December 9th, do you think you'll get that call to the UFC? I hope I get that call. You know, I, I, I put in the hard work. I feel like I'm ready to fight the best in the world. I feel like I am the best in the world. So, um, you know, I, we, we just got to wait and see. We just got to wait and see. If they don't call me, I'm just looking to be the best. And and uh, if I have to be the best outside of the UFC till they get to me, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Be the best on the outside of the UFC till, they, till I make some noise. And I, I hope I'm making noise and getting in their ear. But, yeah, I just can't wait. We got to see. Time will, time will tell. Maki, appreciate your time. I know it's a fight week. I know the last thing you want to do is to be talking to guys like me. But real quick oh, before no, I let okay. you go. We appreciate you guys, man. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Real quick before I let you go, do you have any sponsors you'd like to thank? And is there anything you want to say to the fans? Uh, yeah. Hawaii, the world, tune in December 9th on UFC Fight Pass Victory Fight Championships 54. Maki Vitolo versus Cassius King number two is going to be probably the best welterweight fight you're going to see outside of the UFC. Tune in, and uh, it's going to be fireworks. Shout out to my teams, Chrissy Technics Jiu-Jitsu, Team Tactical, baby, over there at Cock Fitness, and the best on the West, West Wall MMA, baby. We're making noise. Let's get it. Maki, thank you for taking the time to talk. I really appreciate it. Good luck December 9th at VFC 54 against Cassius Kane. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. You have a good one.